Hi everyone, my name is Harjot and you are watching Foreign Love Gadgets. To begin with, I would just like to mention that weather in Delhi has been changing quite lately and so is my voice. So kindly bear with me, you might find a base to it today. We are talking about the glazed ink tempered glass which we are buying for 500 as a matter of fact everyone kind of buys it for 500 and is it actually worth it now as you guys suggested in this video we will be reviewing the glazed ink tempered glass for the redmi k20 pro and we'll see how good it is we're gonna put it through with the underdogs as well and see does it justifies the 500 price tag as well in this video we'll test out everything that will help you deciding going forward is glazed ink the glass that you want to buy and trust me we're not gonna glaze on it we're gonna go through it so friends before we start once again thanks a lot for the love that you've given for the previous series for the cover bonanza on the redmi k20 pro we are very very thankful to you and please do subscribe the channel hit the bell icon select all so that you get all the latest updates do share the video with your friends and family like it and also let me know if you have any query around this last but not the least do let me know if there's any feedback and trust me i do get a lot of feedback and that really helps so once again thanks to those guys who are giving constructive feedback which is really helpful so thanks once again everyone on this note let's start now first thing first guys this is something i've purchased this is not a review unit as you can see my name is there secondly the turn around time for delivery is way too much i got this in a day's time so for example i ordered it on the third and on the fourth i got it where it this I ordered it on the 5th in the morning around 10.30 am and I got it on the 8th at 7.30 pm. 4 days is way too much when you are charging 500 rupees considering how critical a tempered glass is for a phone. I think it should not be more than 48 hours is what I say. So if the glazed ink team is listening, please make it around 48 hours. Now let's unpack it and put it to its fate. So this is the box that you get on the top the name of the company the slogan play it safe or marketing title premium tempered glass protector 9 h hardness shatter proof ultra slim smudge proof let's quickly open this now here you can see you can follow them on facebook twitter insta glazing and these are the items that we get so first is the dust absorber now this is good considering 500 they are charging it's good that they are providing dust absorber now generally uh, this is not a big cost so i think every tempered glass provider should provide this because there are cases when you apply the tempered glass sometimes the dust you know sticks to it so this should be a mandatory item with every tempered glass i'll keep this aside now these are the wipes so you get both dry and wet wipe i'll keep this aside as well and here it is i just hope कि यार ये वो शादी का डब्बा ना निकले जो बाहर से तो बहुत बढ़िया होता है बट अंदर से मिश्री और इलायची निकलती है सो आई मीन आई वॉज जस्ट सेंग दैट एट टाइम्स यू गेट अ गुड गिफ्ट बॉक्स बट देन इन साइड इट्स लाइक वट द हैक मैन राइट सो दिस इज दी ग्लास आई विल कीप ऑल ऑफ दिस असाइड नाउ ओके लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट इट फर्स्ट नाउ See one thing if you note I'm already finding the glass a little curved right if I just try to focus it I'm not sure if you are able to witness it but I'm not putting any pressure but I can see some bit of you know slant to it so I'm not sure when I apply it will it stick from the middle or not Okay let's see here now here you can see hmm there is a bit of curve all right this thing will cover up as we compare it with the other glasses now let's first of all put it onto the phone and let's see how does it fits the phone and are we able to you know use the fingerprint scanner without any problem or not so let's put it on so this is the wet pipe sorry for the throat guys um, at least there's decent amount of you know liquid in it if you just see Now I'll quickly try to apply the tempered glass 
before any particle is there so this is the tempered glass and trust me the gum is quite strong i'm just trying to take this off and it's a little bit you know on the tighter side as you can see so i'm just worried if it might end up breaking the glass which is not good but then uh, i'm liking the quality of the gum so far okay now here it comes i just keep it like this and as a practice i generally go into settings so that i could see what's you know what is the area that i want to cover okay and okay i'll just tap this and i'll just see how does this fits okay guys now i'll see how does this goes away generally i've seen that in gum based tempered glasses like these it takes 2 3 good days and this gets settled down the phone that i'm using and in fact this is an answer i've given to a lot of uh, dear subscribers you know my brothers and sisters who have asked me that the you know sides are not stick properly so this takes time uh, i'm sure that within some days it will be you know settled down properly but the good thing is that so far i don't see any dust particle that wet it to it now the just uh, you know idea behind this as to how you do it is quickly put the tempered glass without wasting more than you know 10 or 15 or 30 seconds because more the time the chances are there that the dust particles would come right now since we have put on the tempered glass let's have a look at it i'll quickly try the fingerprint scanner okay this is surprising let me try to add a fingerprint and then test it now it's surprising that in the other glasses when i put them on like these one i was able to test the fingerprint scanner then and there but not in this one so i'll quickly set up the fingerprint scanner and try it once again i'll remove the existing one and let's add a new one quickly okay i hope it could have been a little more quick okay so i think this might be required in some cases wherein you have to rekey your fingerprint scanner so do that and things would be fine but with other cases i mean it worked for the very first time i did not have to key it so guys this is the glazed ink glass the rest of them are here let's try to scratch it and see how does it you know acts so i'm kind of so this is a key and you can see it's rusted it's rough and i'm just trying to scratch it and you can see some hair lines here right there is no noise as in it kind of impacting the glass but if you see the surface here it's plain and you can see some lines here now let me just wipe this off and see okay this is good right let's try something even more rough so i mean this is just a earring but then it has sharp edges okay i can definitely see some scratches now let me just wipe this off and they did get registered guys try a few more things are you able to get this
let me wipe this off again so you can see some scratches here as well I'll take it off in front of you so that you should not say that you know uh, I cheated or uh, I'm not using the right class so I mean transparency is the best thing and I will put it here where you go so this is our uh, glaze I'll pick this up because this one was the cheapest that we tested this was around 140 150 or so I'll quickly put it onto the phone there you go and I'll quickly wipe this off okay um, now we can definitely see some gum impressions of the cover but then let's try to quickly scratch it as well and let's pick this area and I'm putting in quite a bit of pressure you can see the you know finger impression so it's quite a bit of pressure that I'm putting in and guys I'm spending this much time just because of the fact that at the end you should not waste 500 rupees wherein you can get something for 140 or so so I mean you feel like this is lengthy uh, most welcome uh, to share that feedback but then so one thing guys if you see I mean this is I believe is performing even better because with the key itself I hardly see any you know uh, sign or you know uh, any damage now let's take this up and okay again I can see that it has left the mark but let's see if I will be able to take this off and it's the same thing that I used guys so let me just wipe this off now okay so again that impression is there but I don't know why do I feel like that this might not go away as well I'll now also try this okay this is making a lot more noise let me wipe this off okay so see guys to be very honest when it comes to the performance with respect to glass I am not finding this by any means lesser to this which is the glazed glass yes this has a bit of curviness here but then trust me with respect to uh, flexibility with respect to the thickness this is almost the same let's try this one because this uh, some way you know got broken I'll put this on quickly let's try this one as well and I think then probably we can conclude I'll take this off and I'll put it here let's keep the phone aside Now if you see this one, I'll just quickly put this on to the phone, okay, so this side up, okay, alright, I'll quickly just wipe this. Now we can see this is on as well I'm, I've been able to put this on as well now let's quickly try to scratch this okay one thing I was saying that this is a little shorter 
uh, with respect to the edges but then it has that you know uh, little very slight bit of curviness not as much as what the uh, glazed ink glass has so i'm just now scratch the key And again i'm putting a decent pressure guys you can see the mark on my finger and it's not that you know i'm doing it uh, just like that let's do it here as well you can see i'll just quickly wipe this off and let's have a look at it so i mean i can see some bit of lines here as you can see they'll just shine so here is one here is two uh if you see this one as well now let's try this out okay Now this is one bit which has kind of uh, ruptured every glass. And yes, it's kind of leaving the mark, but then again, otherwise while using the key, while using the cutter, I think this also was equally impressive like the glazed ink. You can see right so guys this is the glazed cover so guys with the glazed tempered glass on as you can see the edge here uh let me show you so you see so how it is curved i just put the ring cover on because this is something a lot of people ask that please do put on the ring cover with the glazed tempered glass to see if that impacts the fitting or not so i'll just quickly put this on okay so you can see guys it's again neck to neck uh though the corners have not come off as you can see right so if i just put it like this so you can see that the corners have not come off so this is neck to neck but yeah i mean guys this is neck to neck so uh good that the corners have not come up so i don't see any problem So guys these are the four glasses somehow this was broken by me uh, it just fell down and dropped on the edge so you can see it start cracking from here so i'll keep this aside i'll take this one first and i'll try to flex it to see how much flexible it is now it's fairly thin as you can see right let me in fact compare the thickness as well would you like to compare the thickness guys okay let me see here quickly so since so this is again a local one right and this is the glazed glass i just take this wrapper off i must say that the sheet that is applied is really really thick it takes good time to take it off so this is the glazed one and let's try to match the thickness whether you agree or not this is a little more thick maybe this is curved at the edge but this is a little more thick now i'll pick the other one which is okay all right so i'll just keep them where they belong this to this and this to this so this is the 11d1 right let me try to shatter it and see okay so you saw how good it was but then otherwise if i just try to okay now this is the normal glass uh, let's see how much flexible it is so there is quite a bit of flex here okay this is good now this one was more than 150 i think this was around uh 250 or so but you can see how much flexible it has gone before it broke 
good thing is that the glass is not just coming off like this whether it's this one or this so it's intact right i'll just see if i try to break it with this okay okay and here comes our glazed glass now this is for 500 bucks guys 500 bucks okay now let me now see guys i can see that it's flexible but trust me once you pick these ha in hands you won't gonna find much of difference guys see how i mean did you see that guys because this side it's gum so it's not coming off let me just so if you see this is the reason because like this it will just break quickly so there you go guys these are your tempered glasses to be very honest if you agree to me i mean you can call me a friend or whatsoever trust me it's not worth it spending 500 rupees on this you can get 11d it will work fine you can get this one or this one i'll just break this as well from this side now see because the gum on this side it's not breaking easily but see so trust me guys there is no difference i mean it's just that it is a little tapered at the edges apart from these ones other than that i don't see a major difference or they are giving these dust absorbers that's it so time to conclude so guys time to conclude the video apologies that it has been a little lengthy than i thought as well but then i try to cover each and every aspect that probably you can think of or you say later to me that okay can you cover this because again a video on that small topic would not be you know feasible and probably not be liked by everyone on that note the glass is okay it's no exception to all of these that we use the 11d the 21d and the other one that we saw are equally good as the glazed glasses with respect to the fingerprint, we did face an issue initially and I have to delete the existing fingerprint and add a new one wherein in the previous glasses we saw in the previous video as well, I was not adding the fingerprint again. It was the existing fingerprint that was getting red with those glasses. Also, we saw the ring cover that we put on. It was you know easy to put it on and we did not face any problem with the glazed glass. Now trust me guys, they are charging 500 rupees within which you can get around four of these two of these three of these maybe do you think it's value for money and do you think it's worth the price of 500 i agree it is you know tapered at the side but then that's not the price for their asking on this note from my side if you ask me i would not recommend you to spend that extra money probably buy a cover or save some and buy a ring cover or the x u n n d cover rather than spending 500 on glazed ink glass I hope you like the video, we are putting as much as efforts we can friends and trust me, this is unbiased, this is completely a bought product, there is no influence from anyone. On that note, please do subscribe to the channel, it really helps us to grow and share your comments and let me know if there is anything you want to try other than any other glass. Also do share your feedback, it really helps, like the video, share it with your friends and family, hit the bell icon for all, take care, God bless and Jai Hind. You were watching For Love Gadgets, decide how to work.